Good morning, this is Sea Spirit Tarot, and I'm here with the Daily Thoth Lesson. Pretty exciting one this time. I'm going to start with the Acturian card, Intuition. Intuition. Now is the time for us to step up, become our own selves, and use our intuition. Not to let our, our brain is a tool. And the ego likes to use the brain. But we need to, this time, in our life run on intuition. The 3D brain game is over. We have new uses for the brain. Intuition. The goddess for today. This works out quite well, actually. Is Diana. Diana is the ancient lady of the beast, goddess of light, goddess of solitude, comfortable with the wilderness, a moon goddess, goddess of light, at home and with our primitive instinctual nature. This one, she may be in the forest, but she could have the power to cross the desert also. The barrenness, also. Diana. And on to the reading. I'm not horsing around all day today. Yesterday we had failure, disappointment, which was kind of our, the wind took our, our feelings away, the aridness. But by rerouting and using... Mercury of our mind with the moon, we, Mercury is the word, the will, we came to the Three of Cups, which proceeds from the two and has a union. So by putting aside the ego and paying attention to the intuition, of where we know our what we know our path to be, or what we intuitively interpret our path to be, we came to a productive three of cups, and so begins today. Now, this is the Queen of Disc, and as I said, uh, I'm trying to get up here. Uh, a magnifying glass to look at her dress would be worth something. So she's got a ram there. He's a stable ram, secure. She is seated in greenery. And those kind of look like acorns to be around there. Her dress, she is in armor. I can't tell if how this is focusing on how it looks. She holds a spear of a hexagram. The hexagram banishes all, con controls banished forces. And the spear holds complete energy in the hand, but she's detached. But notice that this spear, this three-dimensional spear, the sacred geometry is Vesic of Pisces, it's the flower of life. My hand shaking. And she is antlered. She's antlered from some goat from Iran or something, whatever their thing is. She is detached. She is secure. She is not looking. She she holds the world in her hand, all her creation, and is able to do so with a detachment, without um, owning or being emotionally involved in it. Okay. 20 degrees Sagittarius to 20 degrees Capricorn. Now, that is the most, the two thirds of Sag that is Jupiter of expansion, philosophy, education, 
into 20 degrees, the, the beginning into the middle of the maturation of Capricorn. So she has taken her cre creativity, her fertility, and made it in a Capricorn structured way that works. This is water of earth. Queens are usually water, at least that's the way I read them, and that's the way this is, the water part of, of the court system. And she's a disc, so she's an earth. Queen of thrones <clears throat> of earth. Queen of gnomes, G-N-O-M-E-S. The finest of the quieter qualities, passivity elevated. Ambition of matter to take part in the great work of creation. I mean, she's got the world in her, in her hand, and that's the Vesic of Pisces. That is the seed of life. That is the flower of life, right there. I said that before, that she is armored. Her dress is beautiful. Ambition, but only in a useful direction. And, you know, I was going to, I was going to, I was questioning another card I drew, but now I see how it could find a kind of work into this. So a lovely grounded card to come into now, after the uh, Three of Cups. And then we come into another one. <laughs> we have two major arcana here. We have the Queen of Discs. The Fool and the High Priestess. What a combo, huh? So let's talk about the Fool. First, let's talk about Pan. I'm learning more about Pan. Pan is all. Pan is all. Pan is all. Okay? The Fool has often been called Pan. Spirit, but this is the spirit of ether, or aether, how they spell that. Vapor. I'm not going to get too deep with him because I can't. <laughs> all, all trumps reside within this zero. He is innocence, because once you are no longer innocent, you, you are tainted. Your creations are even tainted. His first and greatest trick is creating the num the first trump, which would be the magician, right? And the rest out of nothing. He's got a, a lion here. Do you see a lion? Yeah, there's a lion. To me, it, it doesn't look like attacking. It looks like it gives him strength. And we have a butterfly. Somewhere in there we have a butterfly. Oh, it's over here, yeah. A dove. He has horns. He's all in green. A solar disc over his genitals. The Holy Spirit itself. Now, in some of these teachings I've been listening to, um, you know, you can put it to tantric yoga, you can put it to sexual magic. But... Uh, there is so much sexuality in this deck. And sexuality is really only bad to the Christians, you know, and sexuality can be used for manifestation. Wow. Yeah, okay. I thought I was recording and not recording. I'm not recording. 